Let's do it. Hello. It's a great evening for a walk, specifically a walk in the woods with the purpose of finding great gray owls, I hope. There's been an owl in the area, so I'm not going totally blind out here. So that certainly doesn't mean I'm gonna find it, but at least I have a reasonable chance of finding one. I, I have a kind of a semi-probability that there's one in the area. So I need it to be visible and ideally awake and hopefully hunting. And that would kind of bring everything together and that would be it. That's what I'm hoping for. So, I'll let you know if and when I find one. And until then, I'm going to keep walking. So pretty back in here. If I was an owl, this is where I'd be hanging out. Okay, I, I see an owl. It's about a hundred yards away and it's sitting on a fence post, which isn't an ideal perch for photography that I like to do. Um, I mostly like to photograph owls on natural perches and uh, I'm gonna keep my eyes open for anything else that's happening around me too. But, um, I don't know, fence posts for me are like, yeah, not that interesting. So I generally try and kind of shy away from photographing owls on fence posts. And this one's just hanging out on one. But because it's out in the open, that tells me that it is ready to begin hunting for the evening. So uh, that's a good sign. Uh, so I'm going to kind of hang back here and let it do its thing. And hopefully it'll start hunting and maybe moving around to some natural perches. And uh, as opposed to just being on the fence post. But uh, super stoked to have found an owl. It took about hmm, a mile or so of hiking. Which isn't too bad. I'm stoked. And actually while that owl is uh, kind of just chilling on that fence post. It doesn't seem to be actively hunting. I just watched it for a minute or so. And it's... It's looking around, but it doesn't seem to be actively hunting yet. I'm going to take this opportunity to go back to my car and uh, get my uh, Nikon 200 to 400 millimeter lens. So I was just out running around with this, which is awesome lens. Great combination here. Uh, the Nikon D750 with the 300 F4 Nikon. And it's perfect for just running around in the woods. It's light and it's just fast and sharp and everything about it's great. But I like having the flexibility of a zoom. And uh, so I'm going to run back to my car and get the tripod and put that 200 to 400 on there. And then go back to the owl. Hopefully the owl is still hanging out there. And I didn't do something stupid, you know. Because it's, it's always a risk when you leave an owl. That it, when you come back it'll be totally gone. Well, the owl ditched me. So I gotta now just spend spend some time looking around and see where it is. I'd imagine it's gonna come back out and start hunting. That's my guess. It is only a guess though. I don't know, I'll keep looking. Hopefully I'll find it. It's somewhere up in one of these trees, right? Somewhere up there. Could be any anywhere. It's just hiding. Oh! Almost broke my leg. But I didn't. Alright, so check this out. As I'm uh, as I was wandering around looking for that great gray owl, which I still haven't found yet. I see something else up in the trees. Only about 50 yards away from where the great gray owl 
disappeared. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. There's a great horned owl right up in this tree. Uh, usually great horned owls, I find them to be much more skittish than great grays. So hopefully this one will stay put here at least long enough for me to show you what it is. Okay, got a little video started there. So it's just a sleeping great horned owl up there. It's in really difficult light. It's like half in shadow and half in the darkness up in this tree. But you know you're in good owl habitat when you've got two different species of owls within 50 yards of each other. So cool. This one appears to be asleep and I like great gray owls better, but I might spend a minute here and then uh, continue looking for this great gray owl. Fun, 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 fun. All right, and that's what a sleeping great horned owl looks like. It'd be fun if that thing woke up and started hunting too. It didn't look like it was in the mood. Anyway, now I'm back on uh, my mission to try and refine that great gray owl. They're slippery. Slippery in the woods out here, and they blend right in. Well, I found the great gray owl. He's buried in that tree, right up against the trunk. And seems to be wanting to sleep. <laughs> He's resting. So I'm going to go move on and see what other possibilities might happen. I know there's that great horned owl. I can see it from here. It's still asleep too. So right now I've got two sleeping owls, which is cool, but not so cool for photography. So I'm going to go just keep looking. Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be another owl that's hunting. Uh, certainly doesn't hurt to look around. So that's what I'm going to go do. Okay, so I found another owl. There's uh, apparently owls everywhere out here right now. It's called a parliament of owls. Little trivia, a group of owls is a parliament of owls. And while these aren't all exactly right together, I don't know if you'd officially call them a parliament or not. But anyway, this one's sitting on a kind of a scraggly old bush, uh, which is okay, it's nice. And, uh, but I'm hoping to get a flight shot or something, so I'm going to keep my eye on it here and be set up ready for a flight shot. So I'm on the, the uh, Nikon D850 200-400mm to 400 lens. I'm going to be shooting at f4. Uh, I'm going to be at ISO 1600 and minus 2 on exposure compensation, so it's going to bring everything pretty dark because I've got a nice dark background. And then there's these little shafts of light still happening where the sun's just getting down and it's filtering through the forest. So. Uh, if the bird flies through one of those shafts of light, its feathers are really going to light up bright. So I want to make sure I'm underexposed so those things don't just turn, you know, completely white. I still want those to be glowing, but not totally blown out. So uh, other than that, it's just a matter of waiting and hoping that it, uh, it flies and maybe hits one of those shafts of light. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, I'll be on my uh, group autofocus area using back button autofocus, but that group area is super fast and it's perfect for this kind of thing. I just got to keep that cluster of points on the bird and it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, and then try and track it as it's flying. And I want to maintain at least a thousandth of a second here. That's my primary goal. Ideally, I'd love to be higher, but it's starting to get dark. So maintaining a thousandth though is top priority as long as I can. Okay, uh, it flew. That was pretty nice. I think I'll get a decent uh, decent flight shot out of that. I hope um, that this camera is shooting at 9 frames per second with the battery grip. And um, so I, get, I should get a couple of different wing positions through that flight. So that'll be nice. Now I'll try and keep up with them. 
All right, I'm still trying to keep up with this owl here. It's uh, it's really hard trying to make photos and shoot video at the same time, but uh, I've had a couple of decent photo opportunities here with this owl as it's moving around in the forest. So uh, I gotta try and keep up with it. And I lost it again, but I think I'll be able to track it down. Getting a little warm. <laughs> Trying to run through the forest, keeping up with those owls. That that owl ditched me, um, but I'm still gonna keep keep trying to catch up. Uh, I just haven't had time to shoot any video while I'm photographing the owl. There's too much going on. Um, so anyway, I'm taking a breather, ventilating a little bit, and I'm gonna keep moving. See if I can find anything else. Maybe that owl, maybe something different. It's a pretty little chunk of forest. It's dark in here, but uh, that's how owls like it. So I'm gonna keep trying. Off we go. I'm lugging this thing around the woods. It's a little harder than just my little one. Uh, so I think I'm at three and a half miles so far and I'm a long ways from the car now. So I'll have at least, I'll probably have another mile to get back there. Maybe a little less than that, but um, What's up, squirrel? Uh, anyway, I'm on the move. Gonna keep going. All right, after a long loop, I made it back to this great horned owl. The sun has gone down, so the light's a little more even on it, and it's a lot more visible. It seems to be a little bit more awake now, but it's still not hunting. But I wanted to come check on it, so. It's not, it's just chilling there, but I'll spend a few more minutes with it. There's enough light I can probably shoot it for another 15 minutes. And uh, then it'll be too dark. So since I'm not uh, able to find any of the great grays anymore, I'll spend a few minutes with this. But the great gray was pretty fun. Uh, I didn't get a chance to shoot much video because it was like go, go, go. And I got a couple nice perches and a couple of nice photos. So. Uh, that was totally worth it to do all that running around and uh, it's nice to be able to stop and cool down and let my head steam off a little bit so fun night if uh if nothing happens here then this will be it i'll call it uh, a night from here and um, that's the end of the video have a great day see you next time mm -hmm.